Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome to the video. We're out running the Outcast 8S. And what I thought I would do guys today is just a bit of a comparison. So I'm going to run the truck with the Duratrax 6-pack X's on it first. And then I'm only going to run it guys for like a minute. Then I'm going to throw on the MX-43s just kind of as a comparison. So by only running it for a minute guys, I'm just kind of doing that for the batteries. Um, I know a lot of people, if I run the six packs for too long, they're going to sit there and tell me that, oh, you ran the batteries down or something like that. So again, going to run it for about a minute on the six packs, a couple of quick rips, maybe take it off the jump with them on. Then I'll swap over to the MX-43s and just so I can give you guys kind of a idea on the difference of these two tires. If the fact that the Pro Lines weigh a little bit more, does that affect the truck? Um, you know, I've, I've often kind of put down the Pro Lines only because they are so heavy. And then I ran them a little while ago on my Creighton 8S and I didn't mind them. So again, this is just kind of for fun. Um, just to guys, give you guys again, just a bit of an idea between these two tires. Did you see that?
All right, guys, so I got the truck home, and you know what? I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun, you know, running them back to back. Uh, I think I swapped them out, I think, twice. So I went from the six packs to the Badlands, back to the six packs, back to the Badlands. And I want to get this out of the way first. Both are very good tires. Both provide tons of traction, and they are an improvement over the stock tires. The, I'm just going to grab one. The stock tires, guys, are good tires. They're nice and light. They weigh a lot less than the Pro-Lines or the Duratrax. They do not, though, provide as much traction as these two sets of tires. You do notice a difference in the snappiness of the truck when you switch to the Pro-Lines. The Pro-Lines are a little bit heavier. And, you know, you don't even have to take my word for it. Google it if you want. But... Rotating weight, so wheels, tires, on an RC, heck, on a real car, are the biggest, basically, negative impact on a vehicle. Meaning, if let's say you swap out your stock tires for a set of aftermarket wheels and tires like these, and maybe you gain a pound between all four corners, pound and a half between all four corners, it's not like you're gaining a pound on each corner, that is worse. So let's say you gain a pound with the four wheels and tires. That is worse than gaining a pound, let's say on the chassis between, you know, aluminum braces, um, whatever. That's worse. So having that weight on the wheels and tires is worse, which means you could literally take that weight and add it to the truck, let's say in the chassis and not feel it as much as adding the weight in the wheels and tires. So again, when I switched to the MX-43s, I did notice, you know, a bit of difference in the snappiness. Don't get me wrong. Not a lot. Truck still wheelies. It still went. And to be fair, I actually think the truck behaved better in the air with the Pro Lines. Having that slightly more weight, I found, in my opinion, I found it behaved a little better. So, what that comes to is this. What tires and wheels look better? Personally, I like them both. I have no complaints over either. Um, you know, it's nice to have the beadlock rings. I've had no issues with my Duratrax coming unglued or anything like that. And I've seen, I have seen that online. I've seen where people have had complaints about that. I haven't had any. I've had zero issues with them at all. So I'm going to kind of, guys, do this in a different way than I usually do. I usually don't bring price, bring price into the factor. I'm always like, hey, you know what? If something's good, you buy it, you deal with it. But the issue with these two sets of wheels and tires is here in Canada, these are almost half the price of the Pro Lines. Now, hey, bead locks, bead lock rings, the screws, I get it. There's, there's more to these. But they perform very close. If anything, these perform a tad bit better because they're a little lighter. These are belted, even though I've never seen these actually balloon, but these are belted. And for almost, the fact that you can go out and buy a set of these, again, this is here in Canada, I'm assuming it would be the same for the States and other places around the world. You can buy a set of these for a little tiny wee bit more than buying a pair of the Pro Lines. That's a big deal. Um, you know, I think in Canada, these are like $69.99 versus uh, $119 or $129 a pair for the Pro Lines. And, you know, I really, this year I've been, I've been running a lot and I've been really enjoying the Duratrax wheels and tires. I do find that a lot of times when I'm going out, if I'm taking one truck over the other, I'll swap the six packs on before I leave type thing. So again, both sets of tires guys are very good wheels and tires. The pro lines, you know, they've been known to make amazing tires forever, but with the added weight and the fact that they are almost twice the price of the Duratrax, if you're out there right now thinking, hey, I want to buy a set of wheels and tires for my X-Max, I want to buy a set of wheels and tires for my Outcast 8S, my Creighton 8S, whatever. I can't, I, I could not justify saying buy the Pro Lines over the Duratrax. There has not been one thing that would make me say, hey, buy these over the Duratrax. It, it's, it just doesn't, it's not there. 
There's nothing I can, I can justify. There's nothing I can say unless you just prefer the looks of the bead locks, all that kind of stuff. Well, then, hey, if that's the case, then, yeah, obviously go for the Pro Lines. If you want to, again, spend twice the price. But anyways, guys, hey, that's it. I'm expecting a few negative comments as usual. But, hey, I'm just trying to give you guys my honest opinion. I'm giving you the opinion that, hey, if you're out there, you're thinking about buying wheels and tires, and you're debating, oh, should I get the dirt track? Should I get the Pro Lines? You read online, you know, this is a negative. This is all oh, my dirt track split on the first run. For me, I've had zero issues whatsoever. One tire I didn't run in this um, kind of review as I was doing it was my Power Hobby Scorpions. These tires have been my favorite tire on the X-Max. They just seem to really perform well. And they performed well on my Creighton 8S because actually I bought these when I first um, got my Creighton 8S. And I love these too. I probably, out of all three sets, these are the ones I don't like the look of the most. But... They do a very good job on the X-Max because they're a little bit wider. So they actually sit in a little bit more. So I've had issues back here on my other body where it's rubbed a little bit. Um, and you can hear it, you know, sometimes taking a jump or landing in, you know, an awkward way. You'll feel it rub a little bit here. But besides from that, again, for my X-Max, these have been my favorite tires. All right, guys. As always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And enjoy the picks. Take care.